afternoon. Wind Dancer's Arabian Mare and Pinto Mare both returned to his band. The Arabian Mare had a colt that had a black mane, a light brown body, and a cute little star on his forehead. The Pinto Mare had a Pinto colt just like her and Wind Dancer. When the mares returned to the band, Wind Dancer inspected both of his new colts very closely and sniffed them both. Horses graze for a little longer. <coughs> then the Arabian lead mare whinnied to the other horses to let them know that it was time to go. The Arabian mare had led the bands of horses into the woods. Wind Dancer and the mares grazed there in the woods. And while the mares grazed, the two colts played. The two colts played for a while. Then the Pinto colt got tired of playing and ran over to his mother. But the other little colt didn't run over to his mother. He wanted to explore the big woods. But then the Arabian mare noticed that her colt was wandering a little too far away from the band and let out a whinny. <coughs> and of course the little colt heard the whinny and went running to his mom. Wind Dancer was grazing happily and then all of a sudden he lifted his head. Wind Dancer heard the sound of a horse's hooves coming close to him and his band, and the first thing that came to his mind was the horse and rider that had chased him into the corral. He did not want to be chased into the corral again, so he was very cautious and on the alert. Wind Dancer's mare saw that he was very cautious and on the alert, so they were cautious too. Wind Dancer was quite relieved when he saw that it was not the horse and rider that had chased him into the corral, but it was only another wild horse like himself. The horse walked toward Wind Dancer and his mares. She wanted to join Wind Dancer's band, and that was exactly what happened. The new mare that joined Wind Dancer's band was an Isolatic pony. She had a beautiful curly mane and tail, and was a goldish color. She was also a very gentle horse. Wind Dancer's band didn't stay very long in the woods because there wasn't enough grass. The bands of horses were once again off to find a creek where they could get a drink of water. When they found one, the horses began to drink the clear, cool water. Fools played in the creek. <coughs> but then Wind Dancer stopped drinking, and so did his lead mare. The horses all became alarmed. The horses heard a sound that they had never heard before. It was the sound of a car coming very close to Wind Dancer's band. When the car pulled up, and stopped in front of the band. The horses ran away. <coughs> horses ran for a little while, but then they stopped. And of course began to graze. But then Wind Dancer heard that frightening sound again. But this time he didn't run, nor did his mares that were grazing happily behind him. Then a man got out of the car. Wind Dancer saw it was the same man that had chased him into the corral, but still he didn't run. The man stood by his car and said to himself, I thought I could make a good show horse out of this beautiful wild pinto stallion. The man was right, Wind Dancer was beautiful. His fiery mane and tail were blowing in the wind. 
and his blue eyes sparkled in the evening sunshine. Then the man continued and said, It kind of was a good thing he got away from me that day, because later I got to thinking he probably wouldn't be happy living the rest of his life in a corral or in a barn. And he probably wouldn't be so pretty in a corral or barn without his mares. So that's why I'm going to leave him in the wild with his mares where he wants to be. And with that, the man got into his car and drove away back to his cabin. When Dancer returned to his mares, Wind Dancer was now a full-grown stallion, so big and so powerful. He also had a big band of wild mares. The time of the foaling season was almost over. The hot summer, the pretty fall, the cold winter, spring, and then more folds would be coming again. And by then, Wind Dancer will probably have more mares and more foals next year. But Wind Dancer is still a beautiful wild pinto stallion that lives in the meadows of the Western Territory.